What's up, everybody? It's Rick, and welcome back to some more Dicey Dungeons. We've been playing through all of the episodes, and we got through all the episode threes. The last couple, so difficult, I couldn't even beat them. And I've been beating myself up over that, but we're going to move into episode fours now. All of them, starting with the Warrior. And the Warrior's episode four is called Elimination Round. You've got your usual equipment, usual health, everything. It's a shame all your enemies have extra health and upgraded weapons. Oh, geez. Enemies get an extra 10% health. All enemy equipment is upgraded. This is probably going to be a tough one. I have not tried it yet. Tried it for the first time with you guys. Let's go. And now entering battle again, the warrior. Who's somehow still trying. We're still going, guys. All right. We're so close to beating all the episodes of the warrior here. Uh, by so close, I mean halfway through. Let's go ahead and start things off with the slime here. What is a slime all maxed out looking like? 15 health. And okay. I rolled pretty good at the beginning. I can use my sword and my combat roll. Okay. And my... Oh, I can... That's right. Combat roll re-rolls the dice. So no point in doing that. Sorry, guys. It's been about a week since I've played. I've been away at PAX. And I've got to get back into the swing of things. Okay, we've got another six, which is good. I can just hit you with six. But we're going to need at least one more hit in order to get this fight over with. And you're going to hit me with those... Man, those stacks of poison this early. It's tough. It is tough. Oh, and of course I roll two ones. The old snake eyes there. There we go. I'll use that fury in the next fight. And actually, an upgraded uh, gardener is going to be pretty tough stuff. Let's see what we've got in the chest. Okay, we got a whip. Okay, whip's pretty good. Inflict that damage and down a six. Do some burn. That's pretty good. All right, I like it. Okay, gardener. Upgraded gardener. This could be a tough one. I've got my fury, though. I can double the next action. Let's see if I can re-roll a six here. Come on. Re-roll a six. Re-roll a six. Okay, two fives. Uh... Well, either way, I will double this right there. And then, yes, very good. We'll never have to worry about finding out what a strong gardener is like because they didn't even get a chance to hit us. Okay, we got ourselves a new dice going down. Okay, sticky hands is no problem. Upgrade to sneezy could be a problem. Don't like the idea of that. And then we got a pirate over here. Okay, so what do we say? We do sticky hands. You know, we'll do sticky hands, then we'll do sneezy, then we'll do pirate. Because actually upgraded pirate could be a bad thing as well. All right, Sticky. You didn't roll an even. You can't pickpocket me. Ooh, I've got a six right out the gate. I like that. Let's re-roll you a couple times. Can I get a six? No, that's fine. Uh, let's do the whip here and the sword. Ah, you didn't get an even again. Are you just going to run away without stealing anything? We'll see. I mean, that's kind of the hope, right? Okay. Will they get an even this time? They did get an even. Okay. Now all they need is a five to run away from me. But I think that we can end this thing. Hopefully. There we go. You ain't getting nothing today, sticky hands. Okay, and we're only one more fight away from leveling up. Can we go and defeat Sneezy? Okay, let's just hope Sneezy doesn't roll too high. Ooh, two sixes. I love it. Our rolls have been pretty good, which makes me kind of fear that they're going to be really bad soon. All right, I got my Fury ready. Ooh, and I've got a six there as well. Let's do it. Fury. There we go. That wasn't so bad. All right. But like I said, we're getting real lucky on the rolls. Okay, boomerang or spike shield. I'm going to do spike shield. Let's take that. Let's take a look at my equipment there. Okay. Sword, whip, spike shield. We're all full up. What do we got in the chest? Bump. Okay. Um, I don't really have a place for bump at the moment. So I'm just going to keep bump out of this. Ooh, we rolled another six right out the gate. I love it, man. We're getting real fortunate here. Ooh, and another six? Wow. All right. Uh, you there, you there, and then we'll do that shield. All right, pirate rolled a one and a five. Not the best roll. 
Okay, a five and a four. Let's re-roll the four. Roll again. Okay, two fives. Do I dare push my luck? I don't really dare. We'll do that and... Yeah, we'll end our turn. That's good. Ooh, another crappy roll from the pirate. And I got my fury ready. I don't need to use my fury. Let's save it for next time. Just go ahead and hit you with the four right there. All right. Moving on to the next floor, but not before we check the shop here. Blight, nightstick, and taser, huh? Hmm. Blight, nightstick, and taser. Nightstick is reusable, which is kind of cool. Taser has a max three, and I do that, and I shock the enemy. Shock can be good. Especially considering that they've got upgraded cards. Shock could be real good. But do I do nightstick or taser? That's the question. Ooh, jeez, Louise. I think I'm going to... Like, I want to do damage, you know? I think I'm going to buy the taser. Yeah, I'm going to buy the taser. The question is, what are we going to take out? Uh, whip, spike shield, or sword, huh? I mean, sword is kind of just like the whip, but the whip is better, you know? So I'm going to take out the sword for now. Put in taser and bump. There we go. And eat an apple. Go down to the next floor. Okay. Floor three. Bully. Stereohead. Sorceress. All right, let's take on the bully first. And I'm starting with my Fury, and I've got a six. Uh, I can do my Taser. Let's do that. Boom. Um, let's do a bump right here. We've kind of got the perfect rolls here. Nice. Oh, three fours, huh? Okay, let's do another bump here, and... I can't use my taser unless I re-roll. Now I can use my taser, but I can only do one damage. Okay. Oh, come on. All right. Um, you there, you there, you there. All right. A six and a three. That seemed like a waste of the six to me, but what do I know? All right. We've got another six here, another five, and a two. Let's bump that. There we go. Hit you with that. This and this. Okay. And all I need to do is two damage. Perfect. There we go. We win. We're one fight away from leveling up again. And I've got an apple here. We've got an anvil over here. We can upgrade an item. Stereo head. Uh, you know what? Let's eat an apple there. Do I want to eat both apples is the question. Or should I just go fight Stereo head and level up? Well, let's go check out the upgrades first in the shop and whatnot. Uh, what happens if I upgrade my whip? Okay, it does two burn damage. That's not too bad. Uh, spike shield has no limit. Taser's max five. That'll be very helpful, actually. Uh, bump, I can use twice. And then my sword, it's plus one. You know what? I say we upgrade the taser. That seems like a smart choice. Having that max five, pretty good stuff. Let's go to the shop now. I only have two gold. And I could buy the iron shield. We don't want to do that. Target shield and claw. Mm, nope, none of those are spectacular. Let's go fight Stereo Head. Okay, I chose not to get that extra apple there, and hopefully that's cool. All right, we don't have the best rolls. Let's re-roll. Okay, a four. A six. And a two. Okay, a four, a six, and a two, huh? Um, you know, I'm going to bump this and use that. I will go ahead and get the max shield there, and we'll taser with the two. See, sh being able to shock when there is uh, only two cards and two dice is kind of a great thing. Okay, we got another six, a four, and a three this time. I can only do max three there, so that's kind of perfect. We can go ahead and bump that up, taser you, hit you with that, max three there. 
And they have not managed to actually hit me yet, so this is good. And all I gotta do is two HP damage. Got it. All right. So far, no big kinks in our system. Everything's gone pretty well so far. I can eat this. Well, nope. Don't eat that apple. I don't need to. Okay. I just leveled up. Kind of forgot I regained my HP there. It's okay. I can't eat on a full stomach anyway. No need to worry. Okay, sorceress. We got four dice now, and we got our fury ready. So let's definitely start out by... Actually, I say definitely start out by using the whip. But you know what? I think we should probably use the taser, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and definitely start out by using the taser, actually. Uh, we can bump this and then do that right there. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We've got to re-roll our ones. Let's do it. Okay, a three. Re-roll this one. A two. Re-roll the two one more time. Back to a one. But uh, we can... I guess... Yeah, let's bump this up to five. Hit you with that. Hit you with that. Hit you with that. And... A five and a four. That's a pretty good roll there. Okay, she's got 11 HP. Can we re-roll some big numbers? Come on! Stop re-rolling ones. Oh my goodness. Remember when we had all those good rolls? And I said it would probably turn against us soon enough? Well, here we are. The rolls are turning against us. Okay, so let's see here. The most I can do is 10 damage at the moment, which isn't spectacular. I mean, I've got 9 right here. I can bump up to 10. I'm still going to be 1 away from doing what I need to do. Hmm. I mean, in that case, I think I'm just going to shield up and take her down next turn. So I'm going to go ahead and do max shields here. Um... And then taser and whip. There we go. At least block some incoming damage here. Fantastic. That was actually a... Turned out to be a good move. And now all we got to do is... That's six? Okay, great. One more floor cleared. We're moving on to the fourth floor now. And I can eat my apple to heal up. Perfect. And what's in the chest? We've got, ooh, six shooter. That's not too bad, but I need to have a way of ensuring I get sixes. You know what I mean? I can do that three times per turn. I mean, I don't know what I would possibly replace with that at this moment. I need, I need assurance that I can get sixes. So we'll just keep that in our backpack for now. Okay, Handyman, you're not too bad. Aurora, you can be tough, and so can Crystalina. So let's go ahead and do Handyman. All right, we're going to have to re-roll this crummy roll here. Just crummy rolls all over the place. Oh, there we go. Okay, re-roll the three to a five. Perfect. That's pretty good. Uh, so let's go ahead and bump right here. And the question is, do I want to do damage or do I want the shield? I say early on we'll probably want the shield. So let's play the five to the shield. Play the five to the taser and the six to the whip. Okay. Three twos. That was not too bad. Oh, man, another great roll here. I love it. Okay, we'll do six to the whip, five to the taser, and five to the spike shield yet again. Now we've got six shields now. Okay, they rolled a lot higher this time. They're definitely going to use that hammer. Yep, there we go. And I should be able to take him out this time. Oh, yeah, we got it this time, guys. So I can do six on the whip and three on the taser. Done. And we'll carry along that fury into our next fight, either against Aurora or Crystalina. We're not sure which one yet. The shop right here, I can swap out whip for claw. I already had a chance to buy the claw, and I chose not to. Not a super good deal there. I'm going to go ahead and say no. Let's fight Crystalina first, and then we'll go fight Aurora. Find out what's in that chest. 
All right, Crystalina's got all kinds of HP, 52 HP, and then all these random weapons. They have four dice. I start with a Fury, so I can go ahead and... You know, I want to uh, use the Taser, I think, as my Fury. Or do I want to use the Whip? I mean, being able to taste two of those... You know what? It's not too helpful. Tasing over burning. So I think burning, because they're going to just pump all their dice into two of the four slots. It's not going to be that helpful. Oh, you know what, though? I just played my whip like a like a big dum-dum. Um, you know what? I'm going to save my fury for next time. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, at five. Okay, and I've been cursed. Now my fear is that I'm going to play my whip and it's going to be cursed. So I think I'm just going to... Here, let's... Uh, excuse me. My uh, my root sniffles. I've got to reroll the six because there's nothing that can actually use the six. Okay. And reroll the one and reroll the three. Okay. I got another six. Great. Um... Here, I'm going to bump the six. There we go. It's cursed. That's fine. I kind of wanted that to happen because now I can Fury. Hit with the whip. And... Now I'm going to shield and hit with the taser. There we go. Okay, another curse. Curse isn't so bad. Curse I can live with. Another six? Okay, which we're going to have to unlock. Uh, we've got a five, and let's see. Reroll this. Oh, another five. Perfect. So I'm hoping that the bump will be cursed again. Awesome. It is. That's fine. Uh, the question is, what do I want to use to unlock this? The spike shield or the whip? Uh, or, I mean, the spike shield or the taser? Which one am I not going to use this turn? Hmm... You know, I think I'm going to skip the spike shield this turn. And I'll use this five on my taser. Because I still have two shield at the moment. Okay, they elect to curse again. And they unlock ice crystal. But I doubt you're going to be able to use that. Because I'm going to take you out this turn. Uh, am I cursed? I do have a curse. So let's play... Bump. Perfect. There we go. Got that curse out of the way. Hit you with the whip. That actually wasn't such a bad fight. Fighting against Crystalina there. What's in the chest? A hammer. Ooh, hammer's good. Okay. So hammer's basically like the whip, but for shock. And with that, coupled with the uh, taser there, it could be good stuff. You know... Maybe I swap out the whip for the hammer for a little bit. Go full on shock value. We're going to try that for a little bit. And we've got to fight Aurora still. If we can take out Aurora, we will level up before moving on to the fifth floor. Okay, not a terrible roll to begin things. Let's go ahead and reroll. Ah, that's even better. So hit the bump there. Shield, taser. Oh, wait. I need a six. I thought I had a six. Okay. Could have been better. Could have had a six. Okay. And she doesn't have enough to hit me twice. Oh, my goodness. Three sixes. I only need one of those sixes. Um... Okay, a three. Let's reroll the one. Okay. Kind of crappy. Uh, let's reroll. Let's bump you to a three. Get some more shield. Hit you with the taser. Hit you with the hammer. There we go. At least we've got two shocks used there. She found a way to avoid the effects of that shock. Pretty good. Okay, a two, a three, a one, and a four. Oh, man, and two of my things have been shocked. Okay, so I can't bump, and I can't spike shield yet. I can re-roll, though, and hope to get some good rolls. Let's see. A three, that's not great. 
A two, that's not better. Oh my goodness, that was that was ridiculous. Uh, okay. So we're going to use the three there, use you, spike shield, there we go, okay. Ooh, she's getting some good hits on us, and she's about to get mood change. Okay, I've got a Fury ready. Come on, let's get some good rolls. Oh, come on! See, I was getting all those good rolls at the beginning of the game, and now it's coming back to haunt me. All right, good, I can do a Fury. So let's hit that Fury and hammer twice. We can uh, bump this up to a five, hit with the taser, and use the three on the spike shield. Okay, that's pretty good. There's going to be three shocks there. Awesome. She's going to have to waste some uh, dice. And she's going to hit the mood change for sure. Okay, a two, a four, and a five. Let's reroll the one. Oh, for a one, come on. Reroll the one for a three. And the two for a four. Okay. Hmm. We're going to have to bump a four to a five there. And... Play the five on taser, play the five on spike shield, play the four on hammer. She's down to six HP. All we got to do is survive this and we'll heal up. And I'm pretty sure she won't be able to do 22 damage to us. So we're going to do just fine. Okay, a five. Oh my goodness. All ones, all ones. Because she throws our dice. Okay, there we go. All I need is a six. And we level up, and we heal up, and we gain ourselves, ooh, an upgraded item. Or shield bash. Now, I feel like we need to make something smaller, you know what I mean? So, okay, hammer will be made smaller uh, if I use it. Or, let's see. If I do that, then I can actually use the hammer, and I could use the whip. I would have to probably take out Bump, though. Spike shield is... There's no limit. And in my backpack... Oh, six shooter. I can use six turns. But, like I, you know, like I was saying before, how are we going to ensure that we get sixes? We're not. Unless we had a way to ensure sixes. It's not super helpful. Yeah, I think I'm going to upgrade Hammer. Make it smaller. And with that, let's go ahead and I think I'm going to take out my bump, move hammer over to here, move whip over to here. All right, there we've got some damage dealing items now, three damage dealing items, not to mention two shock items. And then we've got our shield as well. I think that'll work pretty well. That should play pretty good. Okay, second to last floor, oh, we've got a loud bird and a singer. Okay. Uh, singer can be tough. Loud bird is just obnoxious. You guys know my feelings about loud bird. Paper Knight, not bad. Rhino, pretty tanky. Okay, let's fight the singer first because we got no choice. Oh, that's not a bad first roll, actually. That is not a bad first roll. Reroll that. Ooh, that is even better, as a matter of fact. Uh, let's reroll a four for a six. Wow, I can't use that six. Under any other circumstances, that would be pretty amazing, but under these circumstances, not so much. Two sixes. Hot dang. She's going to pump that in a high note. No, she's not. Wow. It seems a waste of sixes, but I'm not going to tell you how to use them. If it were me, I definitely would have pumped them in a high note. Thank you for not doing that. Having some compassion. Uh, okay, so we've got a five. We've got a four. We've got a two. Let's reroll the two. Okay, that's for a six. So I can play my two sixes to the whip and hammer. And now can I get a five here? A six. A five. Perfect. All right. It really couldn't get much better. I think this singer is going down. Now she's going to play into the high note, but it's not going to be enough. And thank goodness, if we can get spared getting hit by that high note, I'm going to be happy. Uh, let's reroll the one first. Let's reroll the one. Let's reroll the six. Okay. Boom, boom. And that's all we need. All right, we got it. Oh, wait. No, we don't got it. Um, I 
Because I only shocked there. Didn't actually do damage because it was weakened. It's okay. We'll get her this time. We only got to do three damage. That's what I said last time, though. I got to watch what I say. There we go. Two damage. And I've got a Fury for the Loud Bird. And luckily, I've got a lot of different attack options going into the Loud Bird because that's usually the problem. You try to fight the Loud Bird and you just don't have enough attack options. Uh, I, I kind of want to save the Apples because Loud Bird is not a difficult fight per se. It's just a long fight. But then again, I've never fought an upgraded Loud Bird. So we'll see. Okay, I've got my Fury ready. Let's reroll the two. Come on. Oh my goodness, that was a terrible reroll. Uh, you know, let's do Fury. Use it on the hammer. And then we can do Taser as well. There we go. Then everything has now been shocked from that stupid bird. And then I will play uh, Whip and Spike Shield. All right. Boom! What's up, loud bird? Okay, you're going to weaken me. And you're going to dodge the next attack. Okay. So what's weakened? Okay, my whip and my hammer. That's okay, I guess. Let's reroll the one for a five. Not bad. Reroll the two for a four. Okay. Reroll the three, four, eight, one. Um, you're going to dodge my next attack. So I'm going to just do that. Okay. Dodge. No problem. Then we're going to hit you with a whip, hit you with a taser, and spike shield. There we go. Ooh, that's that's a lousy roll there, loud bird. Ah, uh, but you got doubles. Okay, so you silenced me. Good job. Which means I can't re-roll. But luckily, my roll isn't too bad. So that's kind of okay with me. Uh, we can do 6, 12, and then we can do 15 damage. I just got to do two more damage to you, you stupid bird. All right. This is probably my easiest loud bird fight to date. And I think it's because the shock really weakened the loud bird's abilities. And also, I had so many attack options. So all I got to do is two damage, and you can't dodge. Cool. Okay. And yeah, let's go eat some apples now. Heal up. Okay, we've got... Rhino Beetle and Paper Knight. Paper Knight can be pretty easy. Um, attacks start strong, start to weaken as they go along. I'm going to fight the Rhino Beetle first, but let's go see what's in the chest first. Chocolate cookie, okay. And in the shop, we have... Ooh, well, upgraded equipment. That's awesome. Okay, um, juggling ball. No, let's upgrade some equipment. What are we going to upgrade here? Um, whip, we'll do two burn. Spike shield has no limit. Backpack is... I mean, bump, two uses. I remember that there. Um, I think we should upgrade the whip, huh? Yeah, the whip. Do two burn damage. That's pretty good. Let's do it. Upgrade. There we go. And let's go fight Rhino Beetle. Because we can do another upgrade. Okay, a six. That's good. A two, a two, and a four. Let's reroll the two first. Okay, a four. Reroll the second two. A two. Reroll the second two. A three. Okay. So let's definitely use it on the whip plus, huh? Do two burns there. And taser. Uh, we'll shield with that and we'll hit with the hammer plus. Okay. Okay, six damage, and we've got our Fury ready. We've got a whole lot of ones. Okay, uh, let's try to get a six. Come on, six. Come on, six. Butts. Okay. I could do double shock if I wanted to with the taser, uh, but I think that we should hold on to our Fury for the next round. I think that we could do a better attack. Let's go ahead and shield up, and we'll use this five on... I guess it really doesn't matter where we use it. It's kind of all the same. We're not going to get a bonus for maxing out Taser. A five, a five, and a four. You're definitely going to headbutt me this time. No, you're not. Never mind. Going to save the headbutt for the next time. Okay, awesome. We can use our Fury this time. We have that six. And let's reroll the three to a two. Reroll the two to a five. And reroll the four to a two. Okay. That two just sort of shuffled around there, didn't it? Uh, do we want to do... 
No, we don't want to use on hammer because we'll be able to shock them twice, right? No, we won't. Because I can only shock with a six. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, no. If I inflict burn damage, all of their dice will burn. That's the way we're going to go. We're going to play the six to the whip. And then we're going to play the five to the shield. Play the four to the taser and the two to the hammer. And all the dice are on fire now. Okay, here comes the headbutt. They're going to lock one of my dice. That's fine. All I got to do is two damage. We can do that. I got a two right here. All right. Rhino is done. And that fight, not as bad as it could have been, honestly. All these upgraded uh, enemies I thought were going to be a lot tougher. Now, I'm going to upgrade my spike shield because, uh, you know, sometimes we just don't know what to do with the extra sixes that we have. Sometimes we'll roll really well and we need sixes to get rid of. This will give us a place to do that. And now we fight the Paper Knight. Okay, Paper Knight. So Paper Knight's going to start out doing strong attacks, and they're going to gradually weaken. So it's going to lose nine each turn. It's going to weaken by one each turn. And then they can also lock my dice on odds. Uh, I should probably just start to stack up shield at the beginning, since she's going to do some strong attacks out the gate. Alrighty, we're going to go taser, whip, hammer. Okay. So here comes that cardboard sword. And here comes the glue. And look at that. Two sixes. What did you know? Okay. A four and a five. Okay, so let's play the five to spike shield there. Play the whip. Play the hammer. Okay, another glue. And... Hit us for 8. Okay. She's only got 11 HP, and we've got 21. I think that we're going to win this fight unless something real catastrophic happens. We'll see here. Okay. Ah, I traded a 3 for a 1. That's That always hurts. Uh, so now she can only do 7 damage on an even. So let's do 5 and there. Oh, we got her. Okay, great. And... We got an extra dice, and that's it. Before going to the next floor, before going to the boss fight, here we go. Let's see what this boss has in store. Madison, the cookie seller. Okay, Madison. What is your shtick, Madison? What are you immune to? Immune to freeze. Thank goodness I do not have any freeze. Oh, hello. I was just writing in my diary, and I didn't have much to say about today, but beating you terribly to fight is going to make a great entry. Oh, Madison. You're in for it. Because I didn't bring any freeze. I brought shock. Okay, I didn't get any sixes that time. So I'm going to go ahead and shield up. And four, four, and four. All right, Madison, what do you got? Okay. Oh, she's going to repeat that campfire. All my dice are on fire, except for one. Um, I'm going to play... You know, I think I'm going to do shock twice. And, oh, not shock twice. Shock once, excuse me. I'm not on fury yet. And then I'm going to take one burn damage and do that one time. And do I dare take more burn damage in order to do some... You know what? I'm going to take one burn damage in order to inflict two on her. There we go. Okay, she's definitely going to double her attack again. But I've got my Fury ready. Okay. We're definitely going to Fury. What are we going to do, though? Are we going to do Shock? I think we're going to do Shock. So I'm going to Fury. Take that there. Um, I have a 4 that I can reroll. Let's reroll. Okay, that's a 5. You know, I'm going to... Take a burn damage so I can do some shield. And then we're going to shock. There we go. Everything should be shocked now. Beautiful. Go ahead and waste some dice in order to unlock some stuff here. Jeez Louise. The amount of time she gets that cookie. The fact that it's upgraded 
is so beneficial for her. I start every single round just on fire. A one, come on. A one, come on. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, jeez, man. Okay, well, I can at least use two to get three there. Um, yeah. We're just gonna skip. Jeez, man. Ah, oh, she's rolling so high. That upgraded cookie is so good. Oh my god. We, we are probably gonna lose here. Oh my goodness. Um, not a whole lot I can do here. I can double my, my attack, of course. We're gonna have to do that. Um, before I do that, let's give ourselves some shield. Okay, let's fury and let's double whip. Okay, um, I need to reroll here. I have five hit points. What has she got? Ten health? Okay, so I could do this if I get lucky on the reroll. Ooh, that's nine. So close. I gotta get lucky on this reroll. Come on. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Okay. So we just hit her with the taser. Hit her with the hammer. Oh my goodness. That was a really close one. It feels good to finally get another win. Such a persistent little dice friend. Sure, let's give the wheel a spin. Why not? Holy butts. No amazing prize this time, I'm afraid. Bad luck. Maybe it's time to just give up forever. Okay, there we go. We've got number four unlocked for uh, the warrior. Now we've got episode four for all five of the other characters. I've already played episode five on the warrior before I decided to start recording this for the channel and beat it, but we'll do it again once the time comes. But let's go ahead and take a peek real quick and see what's next for our thief friend who we're going to be playing next. Oh, and we've actually got a challenge complete. It's the Dryad. She likes 100. Oh, childhood pet, 100 passing squirrels. That's cute. Likes trees. Dislikes things that aren't trees. Reason for entering the dungeons. Knew only the branches and leaves of the trees. Wanted to come underground to see their roots. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, and so next time, we're going to play the Thief. And the Thief's episode 4 is called the Elimination Round. You've got your usual equipment, usual health, everything. It's a shame all your enemies have extra health and upgraded weapons. Okay, so it sounds like all of the characters this time around are going to have the Elimination Round. All of them. Oh my goodness. The robot. The inventor. All of them. Yep, the elimination round and the elimination round. That's going to be it for everybody this round, guys. So, if you guys like what you saw, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know by giving this a like, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. And come back next time. I'll see you guys then.